Hello, my name is Fenna and welcome to the Self-Compassion channel. And today I want to talk about the, the suicidal thoughts that might come with your limerence. And if you are in the midst of a limerent episode and feeling like the pain is too overwhelming and your body and mind just can't take it anymore, I hope this video will give you some relief it will give you something to hold on to and I want to give you some support. Okay, I've stated before in my videos that nothing, no force in life is stronger than attachment. It's so powerful that we are like defenseless against it there is no one above attachment we need to attach to other people in order to let our species survive basically and it involves a cocktail of hormones and it involves thoughts and we are basically attachment machines and when you are in a limerent episode your attachment hormones have gone completely wild due to the unfortunate circumstances and being being left alone and or leaving the other have gone no contact for whatever reason breaking this attachment feels in your nerve system literally as if you're going to die and i know that sounds super dramatic but it's not dramatic your nerve system thinks that you are going to die and it's not a good feeling your body will protest so much to this detachment that the pain can be overwhelming it physically hurts here in your upper body you feel pain and there are stress hormones forcing you to go look for the other person There's nothing you can do, basically. That's not like, you know, mind over matter. That's nature. And I've spoken to people in limited episode who actually wanted to take their own life, not because they wanted to be dead, but they were just so desperately stuck in the prison of limerence. And limerence hurts. Please know that you are not alone. There are so many people out there who experienced a limerence episode during their life. And limerence is a state it will pass. It will pass. And there are thousands and millions of people who came out of a limerence episode. And maybe you have before. Maybe you remember when you were on the other side of the limerence episode. And you wondered what you ever saw in this person. They're just people, they're just persons. And what you are feeling is not the proof that these people are so freaking special or have some extraordinary, larger than life superpower. What you're feeling is nothing but a cocktail of hormones clouding your mind, clouding your judgment because we are attachment machine and if you have suicidal thoughts know that it's also really pretty pretty common a lot of people think about that at one point in their life that doesn't mean you're crazy that doesn't mean you will act on it and i hope you can talk to someone about it um, thinking and talking about it again doesn't mean that you are going to act on it it's natural and it's normal to sometimes think about the possibility to end your life so you don't have to deal with the current pain anymore and we can approach this with the self-compassion method so name what you feel like i feel groundless i feel depressed i feel overwhelmed i feel pain i feel anger i feel hopeless find a common humanity that means do you think you're the only one no you're not crazy a lot of people suffer from heartache and limerence you're not crazy because you're in a limerence 
episode. Attachment is normal. And approach yourself with kindness. What would you say to a friend who has a lot of pain? I mean, you would feel sorry for the person, right? And you will tell them, you know, out of your own experience, you know, this really hurts, but this will pass. This is not how you will feel the rest of your life. This is something that will pass. And I hope if you have suicidal thoughts, I can, or you can find a really good therapist. Maybe you have a really good therapist and it's not a taboo subject to talk about with your friends. Um, there are also numbers. I know the Dutch number is 113. I don't know the international number, but I'm sure there are suicidal lines out there. And again, it's not crazy to think about a suicide when you are um, in a lot of pain. If you have anything to say, any comment, please leave a comment below. And we can help other limerents out there because they can use a little bit of help. And for now, I want to thank you for watching the video. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye.